welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome queens and kings i am aj please hit the subscribe button before you leave and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any locks content Ooh. so you have finally come to the conclusion that you want to get locks but what do you get do you get traditional locks do you get sister locks what, what do you do what what do you do well look no further here today in this video we are going to be going over a few pros and cons of each to help you make your decision many apologies if you hear a war going on in my background my five-year-old daughter has decided to watch x-men it is one of her favorite movies now for whatever reason and yeah they fight yeah so there are some amazing pros to both traditional and sister locks but there are also some cons that can turn out to be real deal breakers so uh, let's discuss so let's start out with some pros of sister locks sister locks are so 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 versatile the locks are very 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 small and because they're so small they mimic loose hair like y'all you could do so many things with sister locks i've seen people do like uh, the feathered look like yes like a feathered blowout i've seen like the feathered look with sister locks i've seen curls like i've seen sister locks that the uh, locks are so small you literally have to be up on them in order to tell that there are locks at all so they are so completely versatile you can do so 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 much with them but they're still pretty low maintenance uh, in comparison to loose natural hair because you don't have to comb them. You don't have to brush them. You get the versatility in all of the styles without actually having to run a comb and a brush through your hair. Piggybacking off of that, really amazing if you have fine hair. I get it a lot. Like AJ... I want locks so bad, but my hair is fine. I'm afraid. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know what I'm going to do. And the best thing that you can do when it comes to locks and fine hair is to go small. That way, you still get the volume that you want. None of us want to have to sacrifice volume when it comes to a hairstyle that we want. So, Sister Locks gives my fine haired sisters a lot more volume and just that oomph and that va va voom that we don't want to go without but for every good side there is definitely a bad side so some sister lock cons the biggest one and we all know this they can be pricey especially for the initial install now the price depends a lot on your hair how long is it how thick is it um how many locks are you gonna have it has a lot to do with that but um it is not unheard of for somebody to pay upwards of a thousand dollars for its sister locks <sighs> it's expensive in conjunction with that your retail is gonna be expensive too now if you don't have like that many locks let's say you have three four hundred sister locks which isn't too bad for sister locks you may have to pay 75 to 100 dollars for a retail to me that's not astronomical especially if you're doing it just like every four to six weeks um but if your number gets up there if you have 600 locks 700 locks of course the price is going to rise you're paying for labor so the more hair that you have the more that you are going to have to pay sister locks can get pricey maintenance whether you go to a sister locker sister lock titian certified sister locker whether you go to somebody else or you're doing it yourself, it is timely. I don't care if you only have 100 sister locks. There is no way that you are going to sit down and be done in 30 minutes. Not happening. With sister locks, you have to interlock. That is a part of sister locks. You have to interlock. And interlocking is just time consuming. There is no way around that. In order for your sister locks to be real sister locks they have to be installed by a certified sister locks technician i think or a certified sister locks loctician somewhere around there but whoever is doing it has to be certified in sister locks sister locks is not just a general term for very small locks it is a patented way of installing locks and you have to be certified in it so in order for your sister locks to actually be sister locks you have 
to get them installed by somebody certified. I have heard people struggle with this. Finding a good certified sister lock er titian er sometimes they're like very very far away sometimes like they're just really really good and so their prices are super duper high um just the research that has to go into really finding somebody good um somebody actually certified and that's not just saying that they're certified um they do have a website though that i think will help you out in that area um so that makes it a little bit easier but i would i would personally say that's a con also i don't know if i would say this last one is a con as much as it is just like a precaution because they are so so small you do have to watch out for breakage even though sister locks are interlocked it is very possible for them to still get very very small very very thin and break off snap off um i don't know if that is normal or not i have ha heard some people with sister locks say that it's normal and i have heard some people with sister locks be like nah fam that's not normal at all um but that is a precaution to take because i don't know too many people that are just like okay with their locks snapping off and breaking so be mindful on to traditional locks the first pro of traditional locks and the main reason why I chose traditional locks over sister locks is the maintenance. It's easy, especially if you're palm rolling, like easy, okay, and, and it's quick. And, um, you know, if you are the type of person who does not like to spend five hours doing your hair, it's perfect. Also because palm rolling is literally just this motion, a lot of people can maintain their traditional locks by themselves. And even those who choose to maintain traditional locks with interlocking, like myself, um, traditional locks are not as many. You, you're not going to have as many locks as sister locks. There's no way you're going to have 600, 500, 400, 300. It's just not going to happen. So even if you decide to interlock to maintain, it still saves a lot of time in comparison to sister locks. Because it's easier to maintain by yourself, of course you are saving money. So you're not paying anybody else to do your hair only thing that you are paying for is product which might be 30 40 bucks depending on how expensive your oils are because that's all you really need and you will re-up on that i don't know maybe every six months or so um so the difference in cost is substantial another pro is just the big bold looks <laughs> why did i just do that <laughs> Because the locks are bigger, your looks are more, for lack of a better word, I'm going to say defined. So let's say you got your locks up in this big bun and you're all the way down the street. Like you can tell that is a big lock bun. Like your, your looks are just very bold as to where sister locks, um, the strands look more like, um, like loose natural hair so even though like the curls might be defined or what have you you may not notice that sister locks are actual locks right away you definitely don't have that problem with traditional locks right off the bat it's like those are locks this is a lock style um and then to piggyback off of that just the, the recognition you know so when you have traditional locks like it's not uncommon for somebody to see you and be like yo russ what's up or you know, like i've had and i know i know black people we are going through um learning ourselves and our royalty and kings and queens but i have had so many people since i've had my locks be like hey queen what's up hey queen oh my queen what's up queen like i've gotten it so 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 much um so just kind of like um the the ancestry the blackness is recognized a lot more and a lot quicker with traditional locks for some people though honestly that can be a con for some people who just don't like that attention and people who shy away from um, attention that could be a con I consider it a pro because whenever you shout my name in royalty yes 
but of course there are some cons one being that they are less voluminous especially as they grow longer your traditional locks tend to be super flat um, and that is why many 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 people as their locks start to their traditional locks start to grow longer they'll start doing things like braid outs and twist outs more to produce more volume because as your locks grow long they tend to just kind of just fall like this really flat and you lose um, a lot of volume. This is where a lot of people with fine hair are concerned when it comes to um, traditional locks because you just don't want that. You don't want your hair to look flat all the time. Um, depending on how you part your locks, if you have fine hair and traditional locks, it might be a lot of spacing. So when it comes to um, traditional locks, you have to be very particular um, about how you part your locks and lock to part ratio and it's important for you to know your hair before doing it how dense is your hair how big or fine are your strands you have to know these things um just because nobody wants to have scalpy locks right so if you are installing your traditional locks yourself um, a lot of people have had multiple journeys just because they parted wrong or even some locticians who just simply did not know what they were doing. Um, so where sister locks, your research is on the loctician. Um, with traditional locks, your research, your main research should be with yourself and with your own Hair. like you really need to or you really should know your hair before you start your um, your traditional locks and they can also be a lot less versatile especially the bigger you get like these really 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 like big chunky locks that I love that many of us love they are beautiful they are healthy they are thick they are full but they are less versatile um, they don't hold curls very well or for a very long time. The retwists don't stay for a very long time because it's just so much hair. Um, even smaller locks. Smaller locks are a lot more versatile. Like uh, my size locks are pretty versatile. Um, but of course the most versatile type of hair is loose hair. So sister locks is going to be the second most versatile just because it mimics it so much um so yeah just depending on how big you go in your locks you could lose a lot of versatility but i love them both i think that they are both super duper duper dope um i've asked myself the question so many times like AJ would you get sister locks like would you could you start over because my locks are so many different um, sizes in my head and my favorite locks in my head are my itty bitty ones like they're just my favorite like they just I love them I love them to death so I think sister locks are awesome traditional locks are amazing big small whatever yo i'm just down for the whole lot cause it don't even matter but if you are tussling with what you should do um traditional locks or sister locks i hope that this video shed a light on just a few pros and cons if you have more pros and cons for either side leave them in the comments below so we can help our family out help them with their decision if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and do that and definitely post notification bell you don't want to miss out when i post share this video because sharing is caring and like thumbs up i'll see y'all in the next one until then be bold be empowered be beautiful